Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the Can 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 gem, what it is, why it's great, and how you can get started using it. Now, Can 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 is an authorization gem, which is different than authentication, like what Devise does. And that's an important distinction which confused me a little bit when I was just starting, because they sound the same and on their face seem to be about the same thing. But the difference between authentication and authorization is that authentication handles the process of having an account and logging in properly, while authorization defines what a given account can or can't do. So think about Facebook or your email, for example. Authentication is what lets you log into facebook.com or gmail.com, while authorization says you can write a status on your own profile or chat with your particular friends. It's pretty straightforward, but very important, so I didn't want to glaze over it. Now, let's bring it to the Rails world. So imagine that you're building a Rails app and you have users and users have accounts and but you want to make it such that some people can access parts of the site but not others. For example, imagine you have a messaging capability and you need to make sure that only the two people that are part of a message, part of a conversation can access that conversation. And by the way, this isn't this isn't a theoretical situation because I was once freelancing for someone whose app had a messaging system built in and there was no check in the controller to confirm that someone was allowed to view a conversation and that had the result of anyone was able to view and participate in any conversation, which is awful security. It's really, really bad. Luckily, I was able to catch that before they launched to the world. And although I went about authorizing in a different way than what we're about to go about here. I'm just telling that story to highlight how important something like this is and how it's something you might take for granted till you're actually dealing with real people's usage of your site. So be responsible, do authorization. Um, my friend that I was freelancing for is doing really well now and his messages are secure. So that's very important. <laughs> can 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 requires you to have some kind of authentication set up already. So we're going to be using my Rails device skeleton as a jumping off point. And so go ahead and clone that from the link in the description and get that bundled and migrated, etc. I will do the same and I'll be here when you get back. All right, so I have cloned that repo and hopefully you have too. I also did a few things which are just sort of set up and I'll go over here really quickly. So the first is adding the can 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 gem to your gem file. And then I did two migrations. One was to create the post model, and that was Rails G scaffold post, title, which is a string, body, which is text, and then user ID, which is an integer. And then I also added a migration to add the admin attribute to users. So that's Rails G migration, add admin to users. Admin is a Boolean. And then I also added here that by default, it will be false. So what we're building here is a blog system that allows anyone to view posts, but posts can only be edited and deleted by the author of the post and admins of the site. So we already had users. Now we're adding the ability to make them admins or not. And the post model is pretty straightforward, title body, and then user ID of the user that created it. So those migrations are set up. Let's run the migration and hope it doesn't break. All right, amazingly it did not break. And now we have to go to the models and set up the association. So that'll be in here, models, and we have to say post belongs to a user, and a user has many posts. Now there's a couple more things that we need to do. We need to update the post form and the post controller. We're going to take out this field where it says or where it allows someone to enter a user ID because we want that to be set automatically. And so we'll get rid of that and then in the post controller we're going to add a line here and say at post dot user ID equals current user dot ID. So that will that will set up the association properly for us. So let's just get this running and make sure that everything is working properly and as expected. So start a server and do your localhost port 3000. 
here we have an account and let's go to post there should be nothing we'll go post slash new and create a new one there it is the the show view and here in the overview is the list of all the posts this is the post index of course post show and post index now this is all pretty fine and intuitive but if you log out and then you visit the posts there's still the ability to edit it and that's very bad and that's what we're going to go after with can 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 so go back to your console and run the command rails g can can colon ability now what that's going to give us is a new model called ability and this is the class where you define people's permissions users permissions and it gives you this conditional which is actually a really good jumping off point so the first thing that it says is if a user is an admin then it can do everything everywhere otherwise the user can read resources but that's it what we want to do is make another level of authorization which says if someone is the author of a post then he can do all the things an admin can do and you can add that with this line in the else condition so I'm going to move this up here and then in here we're going to go can manage now what comes after this is the resource name so it's going to be post and then this is a hash and so this is checking for equality so it's saying that the can helper method is going to receive an instance of a post object and if that post dot user ID matches the user dot ID of the current user which is what gets passed in here if those two match each other then that person is the author and they have access to all of the the credibilities right create read update delete and so on and if they're not then they can just read it now last thing the last thing that you have to take care of is the edit links actually you know what why don't we why don't we make a couple posts and see how see the uh, the consequence of what we've done so far so oh actually there's one more thing that has to be done first so in the post controller you have to initialize can 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 before each action that gets applied so in a similar way that devise has their before action that authorizes user or that authenticates users if you tell them to can 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 has this helper method called load and authorize resource and so that has to go at the top of your post controller so that so that it gets run now let's go back to the home now let's go posts one and if we click edit it will say you are not authorized to access this page now if we log in well I hope this will work we'll see if it does then we have access to it because we as the user one at test.com are the author of this post now if we make a new account and we try to go to posts slash one we'll see it but if we click edit then it says we're not authorized so why don't now so if this if you were looking at this website and you saw this blog post and you clicked edit and it threw you that weird error page that'd be a bad user experience and so what we want to do next is to edit the the post show page and the post index page to reflect the abilities of that current user so what I mean by that is if we're logged in as to at test.com we shouldn't even be able to see this edit link here and the same is true of course on the posts overview page we shouldn't be able to see these edit and destroy links let's make a new test post of our own for to at test.com 
Now if we go back to the users or if we go back to the post list, we see there are two posts. Now let's edit those links. So on the post show, we're going to add a conditional. So here's where we're actually invoking that can helper method. And so we're saying if can update and then we're passing this this particular instance Th this local instance of the post. And if that returns true that the person can do that action, then they'll see the edit link. So let's go back here. If we go to the show for posts with the ID of two, we'll see that we have access to that edit. What if we go to posts one? We will see that we don't have it because we because posts one was made by one the one at test.com user. And then the last thing that we need to do is go to the posts index view and do the same thing for these two links. So you can actually just copy that right over from here, except that in this case, there's no at. And so what we have here is calling that same helper method again. If the current user can update, if they can destroy, and then pass in that particular instance of the post, then show those links, otherwise show nothing. Now, take a guess at what you think will happen here. Given that we're logged in as tuatest.com, and tuatest.com is the author of the latter post, but not the first post. You can probably guess what's happening, but let's just see it. So there it is, as expected for the post that tuatest.com is the author of, the edit and destroy buttons are there, but for the one that it's not the author of, it's not there. And just to drive the point home, let's go back to wantatest.com and son of a gun, because wantatest.com is the author of this first one, it has access to the edit and destroy links, but not in the case of the post with the ID of two. So that's basically can, can, can. Obviously it's way more powerful than that. This is just a basic overview, basic but very significant and powerful, right? A, a very, very large chunk of the internet relies on authorization to some degree or another. And if you don't want to roll your own solution from scratch, can, can, can is a great option. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.